Hey guys, what's going on? This is always back with another tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to give you my top tips to save battery on iPhone. I'll be using iPhone 6s and iOS 9.1. So let's get started. Go to your setting. The first tip is going to be your Bluetooth. So you make sure that if you're not using any Bluetooth enabled device with your phone, so it's a good idea to turn it off. You can go to your Bluetooth setting and turn it off from there. Or you can swipe from down to up and you can turn off the Bluetooth from there. So the next thing is wallpaper. If you go to your wallpaper settings, you can see that there's a bunch of dynamic wallpaper available in iOS, which is going to be a big drainer for your battery. So I recommend that you use your still wallpaper. You can just bring that image from your gallery. Or you can use these images available here. So the next tip is going to be a background app refresh. Go to your general setting, go to background app refresh. So these are the apps can be refreshed automatically at the background. So let's say I've got a lot of apps what I don't use on a regular basis. So I can turn them off. Let's say I don't use daily motion. So I want to turn it off. I don't use docs so I can turn it off. So just go through all of these apps. These are all the apps you installed in your iPhone. So just go through all these apps and whatever you don't use on a regular basis, just turn them off, which is going to help you to save the battery. The next tip is going to be auto brightness. So if you go to your home setting, tap on display and brightness. Here you got auto brightness off. So I recommend you turn off the auto brightness because what it does, it's your iPhone is constantly looking for the light and it's gonna change the brightness of your phone according to the lighting conditions. So I recommend that turn it off. If you want to increase your brightness, you can just swipe from down and increase your brightness or decrease your brightness right from there. So the next step is going to be location services. You go to your privacy and here I wanna talk about a bunch of the things. So let's talk about location services. So these are all the apps are using your location services. Pretty much every app you use location services nowadays. So you gotta go through all of these apps. So if you find any app constantly using your location services, I recommend you turn it off. I can change the option to while using. So let's say I'll go to my Google Maps app and here I've got three options. I don't want it to use my location service. So I'm gonna tap on never. If I tap on always, it's going to always use my location services even when I'm not using this app. So I recommend that you use the option while using the app. If you want to increase your battery, I recommend you turn off location services completely, which is going to help improve battery life. I actually turned it off once and I could get extra three hours of battery life from my full charge. Okay, so the next tip is going to be our motion sensors. So in your privacy setting, you go down, tap on a motion and fitness settings. Usually a lot of people have this on without knowing what it does. It access sensor data, including body motion, step count, step climb, and much more. So if you have any fitness device attached to this, so you're going to keep this on. Otherwise, I recommend that you turn it off. The next tip is going to be reduce motion. So go to your general setting. Go to accessibility and here you got reduce motion. I've already turned it on. What it does, it reduces the motion of user interface. So I want to turn it on to make sure that this effect doesn't drain my battery. Let's go back. And next tip I'm going to give you is email fetch to manual. So go to your home setting. In mail contacts a calendar, tap here and here you got fetch new data. As you can see, I've got this off. So it's not going to fetch my emails automatically. So if I want to fetch my email, I need to open an app and refresh that from there. So if you turn this on, it's going to constantly looking for new emails and these clients drain the battery really fast. So I recommend that if you don't want to drain your battery fast, if you want to save your battery, turn it off and you can access your email by going to the apps directly. The next tip is going to be notification for apps. So a lot of apps use background app refresh and gives you notification about their content. So to save the battery, turn them off. Go to your notification and find out the apps what you don't use on a daily basis. So it's going to help you to improve your battery life. Let's say EPL Live. So I don't use this on a daily basis, only using this when I'm watching EPL. So, so I'm going to turn it off now. It's going to help me to improve my battery life. The next tip is going to be Hey Siri. So go to your general. Tap on Siri, 
and here you got option hey siri what it does it's constantly using your microphone which is a big drainer for your battery so i recommend turning it off which is going to help you to improve your battery all right guys the last tip i'm going to give you is to keep your battery in a good condition so i recommend that you let your phone drain the battery completely and restart your phone at least once in a month which is going to help you to keep your battery in a good condition